Finding love is filled with mixed emotions and expectations that will certainly test your values. But protecting your financial future is having a professional partner who is experienced and knowledgeable to put a plan that will protect your financial future and your goals so you continue to dream every single day. Hi, my name is Pahua. Give me a call and let's put a plan together today. I wasn't expecting to go first, honestly. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, but <clears throat> um, what did you mean by being true to yourself when you during those questions that we just had? Um, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't really get what you meant by that. So yeah, um, I think like you know when I was a little bit younger, I used to um, you know like to go out, um, oshi, you know, just uh, drink and stuff. So I feel like I kind of lost myself, you know? Um, so like, and I just kind of gave, I, you know, I hit a certain age and I'm just like, you know, I, I, I'm at a point where I want to take life seriously and just stop like, you know, focusing on having fun. And um, yeah, and so since then I've just like, feel like I've been more in touch with myself, um, my emotions, everything. And I've just been so true to myself and I just found myself. And um, I think that's one of my biggest accomplishments just, um, being true to yourself and yeah, no matter what. And you know, when you're younger too, you always try to impress others. And you know, now yeah. like I'm older and I just feel like, you know, no matter what, just stay true to yourself and what you believe in. So. Okay. That's not bad. <laughs> you and that's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, so. Okay. You're lucky you only had one person to really pay attention to. I don't like there's there's a lot of you guys that had to pay attention to. So <laughs> yeah. For everything, you know. So I'm yeah. sorry. would love to bring something else. I don't know. Yeah, okay. Um it's fine. Cause I have more questions. Like you yeah. said you were a spender and you also showed a camera, which um I don't I don't understand the camera, but I, I can kind of get the spender an idea of the spender, but like the camera, uh what do you mean like because like to show who you are right yeah so um i mean i'm always behind a camera right now right <laughs> i mean Where yeah, that's, camera. That makes sense. I that, but i i i um i wanted to show this because i really love standing behind a camera and just like um seeing the world through it and uh, capturing its beauty uh whether it's a person or place or a thing you know um mm -hmm. So I feel like a uh, camera does um, symbolize me in a way because I just love looking through the lenses to see the beauty through. <laughs> so you like rather that. be the person taking the camera or the person in the spotlight? I really enjoy taking it. Okay. I don't mind being the person in front of the camera too, but I the, the feeling's different being behind the camera and because being behind the camera, I feel like I have a I have a vision, right? Um, mm -hmm. That I put it out, and I want to capture because I don't feel like anyone can capture the way I can because it's, okay. it's my right. And being in front of the camera is just like oh, you know, it's different. You're you're just capturing yourself, and mm -hmm. you can't control it <laughs> really. Yeah. So in a way, you would say you're a perfectionist. Oh, definitely. Like I'm so critical on like, especially myself. And th like, that's why sometimes I don't like being in front of the camera because I'm like, oh, I don't like that. I don't like this. I don't like that. So yeah, being behind it, like I can, you know, just do it how I want it, I guess. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm also a perfectionist. If I can't get things perfect, I just, I just completely destroy it. I just like, no, it, it's not going to come into fruition the way I envisioned it. So I just like, screw it. If I tried everything and it doesn't work, I just like scrap it and do something else. Cause obviously yeah. it's not gonna work the way I want it to work. So yeah, that that is uh, kind of disappointing in my end. Like I'm, I'm really critical on myself too, yeah. like on that. But then like at the same time, that's why that prevents me from starting a lot of stuff because of that. Mm -hmm. um, you also said you wanna stay in California you don't envision yourself like moving or anywhere. You just want to stay in the state of California. I, for me, I feel like California is where I belong. Um, that is where I envision myself. But I mean, like not saying that, oh, that's it. You know, that's, and like, that's, that, that's the, 
I'm like, it's not like that's it. Like, I feel like I'm still open. Like if I fall in love with someone and he lives all the way across the country, of course, you know, I would move for him because right, I love this person. I want to spend my life with him. But as yeah. of right now, I do envision myself in California. Okay. Yeah. That's not bad. Um, yeah, I was going to say like what I answered from that was like wherever my, where, wherever family is, but yeah. I just thought about it. I'm like, oh my God, I had a better one, but I didn't say it. What is it? And, and it's um home is where the heart is like that's that's what i think personally like home is in a place i can move anywhere but as long as i'm with this person that's home that's yeah. me but yeah. that's what i should have said not nah, yeah. wherever family is no um, but that's true um wherever you feel like where your heart is that that's where home is yeah like, yeah. yeah completely yeah when a person becomes your home that's it doesn't matter where we are and that's my opinion right that's that's yeah. my opinion um I am still wearing this mask. <laughs> I don't know. I think you I'm, look good in it, but okay. um, and I thought that's one reason why you kept it on. Um no, I don't know, because I feel like maybe my makeup's messed up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Um Orlando Bloom, you said that uh he's your favorite. Um I don't get I mean, I can kind of get it, but like during the movie, he's like clean shaven. I really like him in um Pirates of the Caribbean way more than I liked him in Lord of the Rings. You like him a little bit with a rugged, dirty Yeah, the look. rugged look. Yeah, I, I like that rugged look way yeah. more than uh, compared to the elf look um, in terms of Orlando Bloom's roles. Yeah, and I, I don't know. There was something about him that just looks so like angelic to me and- Majestic. <laughs> yeah. and heavenly and he just looks so like, yeah. Um, like, I don't know. Uh, like, growing up, I've always watched Chinese dramas. Like, when I was little, my parent, my dad used to always watch that, right? So, watching these Chinese guys growing up, you know, they were my ideal type of men. Long hair, um, just, uh, like, majestic and upright and, um, you know, good posture. And so, that's how, that's, that's what he reminded me of. And so, that's why I was just so in love with him in that movie. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. So I have a question from uh, our original introduction that I never got to. Yeah. Um, I was like, this is the perfect time to ask it because I didn't get to ask it earlier. Mm -hmm. um, what is your worst sin out of all the seven sins and why? What are the seven sins? <laughs> um, pride, gluttony, sloth, sloth, um, lust, uh envy and wrath oh god i never really thought of this i think uh, that's a good one yeah i know <laughs> I, I thought we had more time the other time i was going to save that question and then if i would have said it i think that would have been way more interesting because it gets you yeah. gets you kind of thinking Mm -hmm. the word the, the most the biggest sin i have right you said yeah yeah pretty much why don't you give me yours and i'll think um, about mine mine's would be like when i was younger it was wrath mm -hmm. but um when i since i've grown up obviously uh it's more sloth now like i'm just and sloth it also plays in the fact that i'm a perfectionist so like mm -hmm. That's also the issue. So if anything, it's wrath and then sloth. But yeah, like wrath was a big thing. Like when I was uh, going through high school and middle school. Yeah. I, um, let me think about it. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like this is a serious question. Yeah. Uh, I just want to give like a rash answer, you know? Mm-hmm. We're looking to each and every one, and then I think I'll be able to tell you the next time we uh, have a personal chat. Yeah, sure. Yeah, it's a lot to think about. Um, yeah. I've asked many people this, and some people say lust, some people say uh, gluttony, mm -hmm. some people say um, pride, some people say all this other stuff. But yeah, um, yeah. it's just really, it's really interesting because then that's like a tiny scope of what you can see like their true colors kind of thing and, and that's my opinion right but yeah. like it's just a glimpse really yeah, if definitely. anything mm -hmm. 
that's a good question though. No, I've never ever had anybody ask me that. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, because it's kind of a deep question. But um, um yeah. So do you have any questions for me? I wasn't I was the one to ask you most of the questions. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> that, that was good. Um so are so I do have a question for you. Um okay. I mean, what are you looking to get out of this show? Like, I mean, when your introduction video came out. Yeah, my introduction video was ass. Because that's an example of what I was, uh, <clears throat> I don't know if I could cuss, but I already said it, whatever. Uh, I'm sure they, they it know. was completely going to be different. But yeah. the, the um, I couldn't get uh, the camera working properly or at least like positioned properly. Because I was going to do some finger stuff, <clears throat> not finger stuff, um, coin stuff, as well as card stuff. Yeah. But my hands weren't like, um, it wasn't, it didn't work the way it used to. <laughs> Just my fingers weren't the way it worked the Why way it used to. Can we games? <laughs> maybe, maybe I'm like totally like developing carpal tunnel or something, but it, it's not the way, because I could have done it four years back then. But like, yeah. I guess maybe just me working on, because I work on computers at work as well as like, I play games a lot on computer. So that doesn't help. And yeah, I've been doing that a lot, so that could slightly hinder me, but, and also I've been out of practice for a long time, so yeah, that's why it also didn't turn out the way it did. Oh, okay. Yeah, I practiced um, all week for it, and then when it came to showtime, and no. like, I was like, I can't get it to look correct on the on camera, <laughs> so I was like, oh my god, I might as well just, just do something this and this and then that, so that's why I did, but uh, yeah. I was going to say more in the introduction, but I also felt like, like, uh, I should be thanking people just, just because I'm like selected on here. So yeah, yeah. like, that's what I'm really grateful for, yeah. honestly. But, um, well, yeah, I guess. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, well, uh, the time's actually up. So yeah. I do have to say goodbye, but I'm glad. I hope you had fun tonight. It was, I it was very fun tonight. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, well, I'll chat with you next time. <laughs> yeah, see you next Bye. time. Hi, Trevor. How are you? Hey, good. How are you? Good. First question I have for you. Uh, how are you feeling in regards to the show so far and regarding the first group, group virtual date? Um, yeah, it was really fun. Um, so far, the experience is really good. Um, you know, I was questioning myself a lot. I've never done virtual dating before and um, doing this, just getting hands on and the experience so far, I, I'm, I'm having a lot of, a lot more hope and I'm, you know, starting to um, just talking to you guys and getting to know you guys so far. I do have hope. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm yeah. glad, glad to hear that. It's definitely yeah. an adventure for all of us. So um good to definitely be able to speak with you a little bit more uh that's a good segue to my next question though is with that hope that you have um what are the three most important traits that you are searching for in a significant other i think the three most important trait is number one security number two honesty and loyalty and number three um um like probably stability yeah um, elaborate on the uh security part security I, I i would say security in all ways um security meaning um and financially secure and just emotionally uh secured um you know um yeah, so in all aspects of what security can mean. Okay. Yeah. Good deal. Uh, so good transition to the next question. How do you determine whether or not you found love? I think love is like something that's just unspeakable. You can't just tell yourself you're in love with somebody. Um, it just happens. You know, you just feel it. And it's just something you can't control. And it just, yeah, it just happens. So um, determining, it, you just feel it in your heart. Yeah. 
yeah, you just feeling you want more of this person. Um, you think about this person all the time and they give you energy. Um, they make you feel like you want to be in the moment every second of your life. And yeah, you okay. want to share your life with them. Yeah. What about, I want to know these things about you too. <laughs> yeah, which, which one first? All of it or the ones yeah. that I've asked you? Um, yeah. Uh, let's see, how am I feeling about the show? Uh, kind of like alluding to what you said, right? It's all new to me as well. And so I think the first group date was was pretty fun. Um, it was good to just kind of break that ice with all the other contestants and yeah. uh, with you as well. Obviously, it's tough to really get to know somebody with just a couple of virtual dates and um, just a couple of questions, right? But yeah. at the same time, it's also uh, a good platform to at least potentially meet someone. So I, I think the adventure itself is going to be fun regardless um, of what happens. So definitely looking forward to more of it and seeing where uh, this this entire journey goes. So far, so good on my end. Uh, as far as the three most important traits that I'm looking for, I think they do run a lot along the lines of what you're talking about as, as well. Um, with the subtle differences, security meaning uh, someone who is also secure in terms of emotion, right? Emotions, uh, mentally and spiritually and uh, physically as well, right? Um, a lot of that, those those types of traits are important. Yeah. In the sense that uh where i fail she can help me understand where i'm doing good she can embrace that and also be able to help each other challenge each other and grow together mm -hmm. and uh third thing is yeah the i think that's very important too uh, that way uh, our purpose together we can certainly help and support each other through the good times and the bad yeah that's good. Yeah. Uh, and then as far as determining whether how you found love, I think at, at the end of the day, as long as it, it, nobody's perfect, no relationship is perfect, right? But at the end of the day, I think through all the work and effort that you put in with somebody, no matter how hard things get, you still find a way to just collide with them. I think that's how I know that that's the person. Yeah. Uh, regardless of what's going on, and you still want to see that person, you still want to be that person, and you love genuinely. Yeah. Yeah, very true. Yeah. So what are your, let's say, two to three goals for 2021? <laughs> I have some silly goals. <laughs> hey, that's okay. Okay. So, I mean, um, I've had this car for like the past seven, eight years. I want to buy a new car, me. And then another one is to get into the best shape I can get into. Um, I want to be like super, super toned. I want to be like really fit and yeah, just, you know, um, the best version of myself physically. Yeah. <laughs> and the third one is kind of silly. The third one I want to learn. Um, a couple of dance songs to Blackpink. <laughs> oh, yeah. <Okay. laughs> yeah. Well, I'll, be, I'll be looking for those videos when you learn it. <laughs> what about you? Uh, so two, three goals. I think number one, um, looking to establish another strategy for passive income. Mm -hmm. might be silly, but at the same time, I think if you have uh, financial peace, right, you can do a lot more things with your significant other. You have a lot more time on your hands and you can actually experience the things that truly matter in life. Yeah. Um, second goal is a little fobby, but uh, trying to finish that up and solidify my knowledge with that. So. I can give back to the community. And, and, so easy. Yeah. 
Yeah, so it's uh, for lack of for, for simpler terms, make gong some go make gong. Okay. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, and then their thing obviously is hopefully finding somebody to share the rest of life and experiences with. Uh, that that's gonna be a bonus, but um, we'll kind of see what what happens, right? Yeah, and um, that's what. I honestly like opening my eyes about you a little bit more that you are um I feel like you are one of the guys who are the most serious about finding a partner and um yeah I appreciate that about you because I'm looking for the same thing yeah, and, I'm, yeah. Glad, I'm glad to hear that um I think uh it's important right that's why I want to ask some of these more serious questions because obviously I don't want to waste your time if it's not something you're yeah uh, truly looking for like in a person like me or you know i don't want to just take somebody's spot right so i want to be serious and truly want to find that person who i'm like hey i i just because the dating game has changed so much and it's like i don't even want to be in the dating game anymore i just want to yeah. find someone who yeah. truly wants to be with me and and let's go do things together you know, let's, no. let's, let's, let's just you know forget about the rest of the world and do what we need to do, but at the same time, right? Um, still be very grounded with family and friends as well. Yeah. That's really yeah. important to me. Yeah. And I also wanted to talk about your introduction video. Like, you know, I appreciate it all the time and effort you put into it. And I thought it was really um, sweet and thoughtful and thoroughly um, um, spoken <laughs> or written out and spoken. Thank you. Uh, yeah. So, um yeah and um what was i gonna say uh, and i meant it by the way yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah you have you're like really talking about the future and just like you know even imagining a life for me what we would be doing and stuff like that um so i'm really excited to get to know you more on a deeper level and to see you know how far we can go yeah yeah i'm looking forward to that too it's yeah you want to able to the dinner right if you need you like what she said yeah what's the point and, yeah um, my video really, it's hard to really showcase who you are in a one minute video, but at the same time, um, I think what people say, people just come on the high level saying you can get a lot from that person. That's and good. so, um, definitely if things go the, the direction that you know, I look forward to, definitely looking forward to, um, seeing what can become. So, yeah, same. Uh, yeah, yeah. The, it, it's just it's gonna be fun regardless i yeah. think um, and california is actually almost like a second home to me i have a lot of family that live in fresno oh uh-huh yeah so i'm thinking to myself how come i've never met this charm girl when i've been down in that area <laughs> been here what's um, that i didn't know you've been here like yeah so uh my mom's side of the family they all live in the fresno area mm -hmm. It's all I come down to visit them often, and uh, it's just you know, it, it's like you have to know a bit on the golf and do all that, too. so I guess we just never cross paths, but better late than never, right? Yeah, that's true. Okay, yeah. um, we have to close it up by now, right okay. now, so, yeah. Um, well, well, thanks for uh chatting, and I'm definitely looking forward to talking to you more and seeing what this becomes. Same here. <laughs> hey, here. I'll talk to you soon. Good night. Bye. Bye. Hi, John. Hi. I was up earlier. Yeah. Oh. I'm so glad you weren't able to join us today. What was that? I said I didn't hear you. that you were not able to join us today. Oh, yeah. Uh, somehow my speaker or my microphone didn't work through that mm -hmm. computer. So. Um, How's your what was that? Oh, nothing. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. Uh, I got some questions to ask you, too. So, uh, um, in like, what, what are you looking in a um, relationship as a as your partner? Uh, I think I'm just looking for someone who I can connect with, someone who um, and someone who's ready to commit, um, you know, um, and take it as far as we can go. Someone who's serious about life, um, but at the same time has a fun and adventurous side. Uh, yeah, just someone I can, um, 
start ko from life ko, basically. <laughs> you know? Okay. Yeah, uh, connect. Uh, me? Yeah. Um, I am looking for someone who being serious. Mm -hmm. uh, someone who wouldn't be there for me. Yeah. And understand who uh, coming from as a person, you know? So, uh, uh, re uh, as a relationship, it's really hard to come by. Yeah. And, um, usually when you try and get to a person, it's like, they either don't want to give you a chance or they just like, they have someone in mind, you know? So, mm -hmm. uh, as I like to say, love is hard to find in a um, relationship. Mm -hmm. So you really want to find a person you really, you really want to be with, you know? So. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. So, and uh, I got another question here. Uh, in your opinion, uh, what makes a relationship last uh, to keep that spark lit, lit? I think to make the relationship last and to keep that spark lit, um, two people would have to be in love. They would have to be happy, happily in love. They would have to trust each other, um, lift each other up, and just you know, coming together, they are stronger as a per as a person and as a couple. Um, and every day would be just like living in a movie or a dream with this person if you're in love. So I think that's how the spark just keeps going. Um, keep the surprises coming and always keep a, a mysterious side. Not like a bad thing, like, a, you know, like doing something bad, but always keep like a mysterious side as in like just, you know, um, just flirting and keeping them guessing about things, not just being a 100% open book all the time. I think I like a little bit of mystery, you know? No. Yeah. yeah. It's good, no? Yeah. Uh, and what, about, what do you think? What, 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 um, what do you think, Latin? I got, I got about the same as you're similar to you, you know, similar. Um, uh, mm -hmm. I just like to uh, have a uh, a person who understands me for what I love, what to do when we relationship, and and I understand that maybe I shouldn't go overboard with that, you know, like whatever things I want to do in my life too. So, but most most time, I want to be in a relationship with that person who willing to be last long with me to mm -hmm. to the end. Right? Yeah. And, and we we can uh, spend time together for the rest of life. Yeah. We think what we want travel or um, do the things that we never done in life. So uh, trust each other. So. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And, um, and um, well, once once you uh, find the right person. Uh, uh, like say that you found the one you want to be with and where like where you want to travel to your honeymoon um definitely I, I i would love to travel out of the country to my honeymoon um somewhere where there's like nice beaches um i don't know i, I would have to look into it like i want to go to a really really nice getaway something somewhere where um you know <laughs> maybe somewhere where a lot of people haven't gone to as well want to go somewhere kind of like exclusive so i'm not sure yet but just somewhere where there's a lot of beaches and you just don't go <laughs> okay is there somewhere you want to travel to specifically oh, yeah. is there mm -hmm. is there a place you want to travel to specifically for, like, um if i was in a honeymoon uh I want to at least travel to uh, uh, Switzerland, Switzerland or New uh, like New Zealand. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah New, uh, New Zealand was one of my one of my goal. I always want to go because it's like a small island and we have the beautiful uh, uh, ocean surrounded, and that's one of my dream. So oh. yeah, we should go there. Yeah. Yeah, I think that would be nice. Yeah. What was that? Oh no! I just said New Zealand would be a nice place to go to. Yeah, it's a it's a beautiful place. It's um, um, 
I, I don't know much about it, but when I look into it, it's just beautiful country that I always want to go to. So, um, so, and uh, about uh, what what forced you to uh, what, like what forced you, like like what forced you in a in a relationship. Like forced means you're like forced in your relationship. Like can you um, repeat that? I don't really uh, what does force mean in your relationship? Oh, what does force mean to me in a relationship? I think forcing yeah. means um you're you're making somebody do something that they would not um do on their own. You're making them do something that you know they would um that's going against what they would normally do and something that would make somebody feel uncomfortable i feel like force is yeah making somebody feel uncomfortable with uh, telling them to do something that they wouldn't normally do or that they don't agree to do or that they don't feel comfortable doing uh kind of static but can you kind of repeat oh. that uh, so for me, forcing someone in a relationship is like telling, like making them do things that they would not normally do, making them do things that they don't feel comfortable doing, uh, making them do things that they don't want to do, you know? Okay. Yeah, so I think that's um, forcing somebody to do things. Okay. Good what about you? So what do you think forcing in a relationship means? Um. Well... Force is like when I when I don't want a person to just force me to do anything that you shouldn't do, you know? Like, okay, let's just talk about over this and um, maybe we can just discuss about it, you know? So we discuss it. So make the make the relationship understandable to each other. Yeah. So we shouldn't like, okay. Uh, you shouldn't do this, or you should do this, you know. But we mm -hmm. shouldn't like acting like that in a relationship. Or we should be like, hey, um, uh, well, like, what's your opinion? Like, yeah, you want to do this, or you, you want to do that, and then we can discuss about it. You know, if, if we if, if we're in, a, in the same page. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so we're in the same page and uh, understand each other, and that's what love is about, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so. Yeah. And you have any other question for me too? Yeah. Um. I don't know. I feel like I, I don't even know you at all. I want you to like stand up and just walk. Oh, like you want me to stand up? Oh. Yeah. Okay. And kind of like. Uh, yeah, because in your video, could you book up the So I don't know how you walk or anything. Oh. Uh, right now I'm in a small room and uh -huh. I have a room to walk around, so I can just oh, walk. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no. yeah. There's. Okay. Yeah. I I used to uh I used to take a lot of photos uh, when I was younger um mm -hmm. and do like little photo shoot modeling you know oh, oh wow yeah, I, mean, I uh don't do much anymore so I'm getting too old and <laughs> I don't try to like impress people anymore so yeah, yeah. do you work so, out I, yeah I do um I work out like almost like maybe five days a week oh that's good yeah and, <laughs> yeah and then when i um i don't have a sick pack or anything but i do work out just to be in shape you know so uh -huh. and uh during my my lunch break i um work out on my lunch break i get two hours lunch break so i always um work out there so oh wow yeah because uh my uh my gym is like across the street so i didn't walk out <laughs> Oh, that's yeah. cool. You, yeah. But when you come back to work, aren't you like all sweaty? <laughs> what was that? But when you come back to work, aren't you like all sweaty? Uh, I can't hear you. It's kind of right, sad. Yeah. You say you go work out because you uh, for two hours because you have a break for two hours? Yeah, so I go work for two hours and then I go work out maybe at least an hour and a half at the gym and then come back and get all my food prepped up again. So Look at you sweaty a lot. <laughs> uh, I, I do get sweat, but I don't have a choice. Uh, I can shower there too, you know. Oh, okay. oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I can shower there too, but um, I'm really at work, so like sometimes I get too sweaty already and get you know all the oil over me, so it's no point, oh, you, know? Yeah. So, yeah. you know. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Charles, 
Um, it's already been 10 minutes now, so I do have to close this off. Okay, that's fine. Uh, it was <laughs> nice seeing you. Uh, I'm sorry about earlier today. So. Yeah, it's, I'm bummed that you couldn't join us. It was fun. Yeah, I, will, I wanted to have fun with you guys too, but I just couldn't yeah. get into it, so I'm yeah. sorry about that. Okay, hopefully you can join us next time, though. Yeah, you too. So. Okay. Have All a right. nice day. Okay. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Hi. <laughs> Hi. I wasn't waiting for you to say something first. Huh? I was waiting for you to say something first. Oh, 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 no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I I thought I thought that um Kelly and, and uh, Olivia was not gonna proceed with this later half. So then I was like waiting, waiting. You know what? Let me undress, let me go grab something to eat. So <laughs> I was texting like, hey, are we still doing this? Because if not, then I'm gonna hit you know, I'm gonna, gonna I know. start heading to bed. Oh, I know. It's kidding. It's getting late, huh? Mm -hmm. Did you eat? Yes. What did you eat? Salad. Salad? Mm -hmm. Wow. Just a quick one. Just like a quick one. Oh. <laughs> yeah, try to be. I'll try to be. <laughs> what did you do today? Well, I was just working. So, yeah. Didn't yeah. do much. Yeah. yeah. And then um, other than me getting out the house to go get that pink drink. Yeah. That was it. <laughs> did you have fun tonight during the show? What is it? Did you have fun tonight when we played the games? Yes, I I I wish um I wish the um, the the writing part wasn't like so just like all silent. I think I if we, if we talked a little bit. I think that would have been better because like that way we because that way um just just my perspective where like you can actually communicate with the other contestants too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I think I, I love how you guys are actually all together, so I could see like yeah. do stand out or how you guys uh -huh. act with each other and stuff. Yeah. So it's uh -huh. cool, it's interesting. Yeah. Okay, so so what? So, so, I don't like how our, our, our time is getting shorter and shorter from 15 minutes to 10 minutes. Like, ah. Uh. Actually, 10 minutes only. Yeah, yeah, from 15 yeah. to 10. I was like, wow, okay, cool. Oh, wow. Yeah, from 15 last time to 10, I know. Hey, yeah. but we have like a couple of hours coming up, I think. I know, I know, I know, I know. Thank you to all my um voters. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I was like, wow. That's a lot of supporters, over six hundred votes. I, I never, I never no, if you see, if you see my phone, like I literally like hit up everybody I know of. Oh. Like, literally, yeah. And I never reach out to like, like especially my like my like direct family. Like mm -hmm. I don't really like hit up everybody. It's only once in a long while. And then when they see me text, my my text say, "Hey, go vote, go vote, go vote for me." They're like, "What the heck? Okay, go. We got." Uh -huh. Yeah. I'm just so glad you put in. Yeah. You went through all that. I'm glad you won. Mm -hmm. I think it'll be fun day. Okay. Well, 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 speaking of that, um, let's say okay that most likely that would be virtual too. So, any ideas what you would you what you would like to do? I don't know. I want to do something fun. I was like, dang, we only live an hour and a half from uh, each other. We might as well just go a uh, face to face date. I'm kidding. Right. See, M maybe we might be able to work something out because maybe eventually like, we can do that later on. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I do have something to plan too, but then we'll see. We'll see because like uh, I know Kelly and, and Olivia probably want to talk to me first. How yeah. things are gonna go and yeah. all that. Um, but but I, I I love your video, your four minute video. Uh, my introduction video. Yeah. Thank you. Was, like oh my gosh, like oh. and and like like I was telling all like a lot of like my close friend like I'm I'm a little smitten about her like damn like coming from me that's like not normal <laughs> like damn. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, no, because like because you were just like you're just being a human, just you're humble and like sharing all that information you don't have any brothers no wow i know wow yeah and and, and i can like i can you know connect a little bit to like relate with all that see like the chinese jump rope i play yes. I, I like yeah i played that growing up to all my sisters and brothers and the neighbors yeah oh my god it was so fun you remember yeah. that face god yep. that yeah and, and really like I, I like i like that um your idea about love and fate. See, I believe in stuff like that too. Yeah. Unfortunately, but then you know we're we're hopeless romantic like that way. Yeah. yeah. I'm so glad you're like that too. Mm -hmm. you like that. Yeah, like like even even when people like friends will ask me like, "Call like, how come you never get with anybody? Or, like, why don't you think about settling down?" And they're like, "Are you too picky?" I'm not. It's not that I'm picky. It's just that I want to make sure that this person is the right one first. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Because we're we're talking about like settling down. Yeah. You know, I'm. I'm I want to make sure that this is the right person. Yeah, and I like I like how you mentioned about um, marriage and divorce. Like you're afraid of divorce. Let's see, I only believe I only, I only believe I only get married once. That's it. Yeah. See, 
exactly yeah see so i want to make sure it's the right one yeah you know i don't think yeah i like that, that we both don't want to go through divorce like mm -hmm. very once for every person yeah. yeah unfortunately we haven't found anyone yet right so yes. hey. Hey, together. <laughs> that, that might be a good thing. Okay, I'll take that as a blessing because see now now we're meeting. Now we're here. Now we're yeah. here. Yeah, it's a blessing. Okay. It is. Yeah. So uh, mm -hmm. go go for it. Mm -hmm. Oh oh nothing. I was just gonna um, when you found out you were so when you did find out that you won the first one on one date, how did you feel? Oh yeah. So so <laughs> I, I was still cooking dinner yesterday, and then um, <laughs> Olivia. And uh -huh. Callie messaged me on um, on uh, Messenger. So once I finished dinner, ate all that, and I hop on the phone, like, oh shit, oh yay! <laughs> so I was excited. I like it cool. Like I I didn't honestly, I didn't expect too much because I'm like, man, we're talking about like the whole world voting. Like I don't know how many people was gonna vote, but I know I hit up all the people I know of, like even coworkers. I still keep in touch with all that. Yeah. So they yeah. probably like forwarded it all out, and yeah. all my baby friends there, like. They're gonna send it out to all the other families. So like, okay, go oh, for wow. it. Wow, dang. Yeah, so like, so like, yeah, yeah. So really, like, I, I, you know, my family, my direct family, I hit them up. So like, I know that's why about like what easily fifty, but then mm -hmm. I don't know how they're sending it out to their other families. So like, <laughs> easily a hundred. And then my Bay Area friends, that like the Chinese Vietnamese, that like they're they got a lot of people down there too. So Ooh. time is up, huh? No, um, I have um four minutes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry, that was just my messenger. Oh, <laughs> click out. <laughs> yeah. But uh, but, but, but let's let, let, let's um, tear it off where we left off. You remember how we left off the first fifteen minutes? Um. Yeah. You um. You gave me that heart sign. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah um, that off, but the, the before that, right? wise, I, I know. I know. We we ended it like music. So do. do oh yeah, do, music. Do, you like music too? What kind of music you listen to? Um, I listen to like all kinds of music. Uh, the only thing I don't really listen to, yeah. Me I, too. I, me I, too. That's what. Me yeah. too. That's what. Yeah. Um, and I know that you like dancing. I love dancing, but I don't. Uh -huh. I don't know how to dance like you. So you gotta teach me. I how can't to dance. dance. Okay. I Whatever. Can't. I just move. Cause dancing is just moving. That's it. <laughs> I've never dated anyone who could dance before. Like oh, all really? the. Yeah, I dated before. You know, that's what they do. They just move. Uh -huh. you know, yeah. Just... Well, well, I'll tell you this. I, I, growing up, I started on B-Boy, and mm -hmm. I did perform a wow. lot at school and all that. Yeah. So, but then, but then when I got to college, like, all that stopped. So, like, I'm too old. Uh, I might break a bone now. I don't know. But then, <laughs> Whatever. But, but then I, I think as I, I will still be able to manage around because the yeah. rhythm will just kick in. Yeah, naturally. <laughs> Wait, were you ever able to like do flips and all that stuff too, or no? Not, 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 not like um, gymnastic flips. No. <laughs> no, no, never tried it, but no, yeah. But you could do like regular flips. No, no. Oh, just never. Okay. Yeah, I never tried it. Yeah, but, but I could do a cartwheel. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Same here. You could still do one today. A cartwheel, right? Yeah. Like today. I'm pretty confident. Yeah. I mean, not right now, but yeah. No, yeah, yeah. no, 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 not, not right now. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that's what, cool. what about you? Are, are you are you able to? No, I mean in a trampoline, I could do a <laughs> <laughs> or somehow, oh. but that's it. Okay. <laughs> well that that's good. That's good to know that you like uh, all kinds of music. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You, 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 you ever been to a concert? Um, yeah, I went to like uh, the Jingle Ball concert. I don't know if you know that is, but uh, like a uh, Selena Gomez was there. We, okay. we, we had like uh, Shawn Mendes. There's a bunch uh -huh. of artists there. Okay, and okay. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's good. That's good. Yeah, because like at least we have that in common because I, I go to a lot of concerts too. Oh, yeah. 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 And, I, and I, usually, I like, if, like, 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 even my coworkers and friends would ask me, like, how do you do it by yourself? Like, I'm a music person. Like, I'll just go by myself. Like, <laughs> really? Yeah. You Oh my, well, I'm a girl, so it's different for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so see, like I seen, I seen Blake Shelton, I seen John Mayer. Wow, a whole bunch of mix. Yeah. Oh dang. The last person I saw, oh my, I can't even remember his name because I, I haven't listened to his music for so long. It, mm -hmm. It's this white guy with a bunch of tattoos. Do you remember his name? He's a, I think, a rapper. Rapper Eminem. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> you say white rapper? Uh, G Easy. Yeah. No, he, he's a newer, um, um, I forgot his name, but he has like grills and he has like curly hair. 
what was this? I can't remember. Curly hairs? Are you talking about like um uh six nine? No, six nine is McAdoo. <laughs> no, he was he's white too, Mexican. Oh, is he? Oh shoot. Yeah, yeah. Okay. he's white no, Mexican a little funny. bit. But you're talking uh, white. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I might have to see it. But yeah. Huh, I can't remember. But either. yeah, but that's good. That's good that you're 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 you know into concerts and music like that. Okay. Yeah, cool. I love concerts. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, um, I'm glad we have that in common. But um, I do have mm -hmm. to end the, in the mm -hmm. chat. But it's yep. uh, so few minutes. So yeah. Um. Okay. I look forward to the one-on-one -on -one date with you. Yes. That's next week. <laughs> yes. So yeah, I, I can't wait to um chit chat with Kelly and Olivia and how that will go so that maybe yeah. we can plan something out. Yeah. Yeah. I okay. hope you're planning something fun for us. Yes. I have something in plan. Okay. I, I, I have in my head. Okay. So we'll, see. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Okay. Have a good night. Cool. Right, you too. Hi, Hi Charm. <laughs> how are you? Uh, I'm okay. I'm doing okay. I finished my ice cream. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, not all of it. Oh. <laughs> as much as I could tonight. Wait, what flavor was it? Uh, it's a new flavor. I tr I got the Snicker bar flavor. Mm -hmm. Oh, ooh. I love Snicker candy bars. Yeah. What's your favorite chocolate? Chocolate? Bar candy. Oh. Uh, I really like Reese's peanut butter cup. Me too. No way, really? <laughs> yeah, I just, I can't resist it, but I know it's so bad for me. Yeah, uh, same. I just had some. I, I don't know. I think I still have the wrapper here somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Did you have fun tonight? Um, I, it was fun, but I feel like it was my karma or something. Why? What do you mean? Be because I was like joking with you last time about the, like, you can't see me. And then now I had to, this whole, <laughs> this whole event, I had to take off my glasses. So I couldn't see you at all you couldn't or see anyone. Me. Oh my god, that's so funny. Yeah. So like, you don't have contact? You never wear contacts? Or? I have never tried contact, so okay. I didn't even I didn't even think about it. <laughs> Maybe I should have got a different mask that, that I could wear my glasses over. I, I really like the mask. It was different than all the rest of the so yeah. How about you? How did you how did you like the event? It was fun. Um com I mean I've never done anything like it before. Um mm -hmm. uh, so but it was really fun. Uh, I liked how you guys were all kind of together, so I could just see how you guys were, you know, acting mm -hmm. with each other. So. <laughs> yeah, the contestants, the other contestants were, I guess, they were so funny, and most of them were so funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Some of the, I guess, some of the questions that you asked them, they were, I don't know, if they were trying to be super flirty, or they just didn't understand one of them. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. so I was like, oh, this is so funny. Like, oh, oh good, smooth, right? I'm yeah, kidding. I don't. I was like, wait, was that? Was he just? Was that a flirting move, or did he just misunderstand the question? But still, that was funny. I was just in the background laughing. <laughs> I don't know, but yeah, that was sweet though. Um, so are you in your bedroom right now? Yeah, I'm in my hotel room. So. I'm in Phoenix, Arizona now. Oh, okay. I forgot. I think um, yeah. from your interview, I, you said you weren't home, right? You were there yeah, for a while. So I, I travel quite a bit, so I oh. just I just came to Phoenix, and then I just got off work when this started happening, so I just flew here yeah. today. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, hey, you're not too far away from me. <laughs> really? Where are yeah, you? Yeah, Arizona, California. It's okay. like borderline. Um, we're, we're right next to each other. Oh okay. <laughs> yeah, I was I was thinking about taking a trip over the weekend to like the nearby places, but I don't know. I need to do more research and see what area I might be into. I might want to go to, but first time here, and it's definitely a different city than Nashville. Like, yeah, the people here are a little bit ghetto. <laughs> oh my yeah. god, tell me about it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm sure you don't see a lot of ghetto people in Nashville. <laughs> yeah, it's all country. People wear boots and cowboy hats, but here they're back to the saggy pants and oh, the, yeah. hanging, the chains and the wife beater stuff. <laughs> yeah, you, you see that here too, where I'm from. Yeah. <laughs> Oops, I don't think I have my treasure connected. Oh, I, I am so terribly sorry. I completely forgot our, our 
introduction. Like I know we had a great time, but I forgot what we talked about because I was like I was telling the the producers after our conversation, like you you just when I first saw you, because I, I, I never met saw you before, you just kind of blew my mind and I, everything just like blanked out. And, and I was just kind of like reacting, but I wasn't like recording anything in my head. <laughs> Did I blow your mind because I was so scary looking? I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, what the hell? What is this? I'm kidding. Yeah. I, I don't know. That's so funny. Um, but yeah, I guess you'll get a little bit of a refreshment when the video comes out then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to read it so I can or watch it so I can see like all the stuff that we actually talked about and what everybody actually wrote down on their piece of paper because I can't see anything. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, that was fun. Do you, um, wait, how long are you out there for, anyways? I'm here for four weeks. Wow. Yes. A while. The weather is really nice though. So, yeah, that's, well, that's a plus. Yeah, wait, how was the weather in Nashville? Right before you left. Cold and wet. It's been raining for like a whole week when I left. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Well, at least it rains over there. <laughs> yeah. But here it's just dry and, and hot. And the best part is when I went to pick up my rental car, I got a convertible. So <laughs> that's going to oh, be fun. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Driving around in a Mustang convertible for four yeah. weeks with the top yeah. down. Yeah. Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> Um, and the cool thing about how the, this side over here is that even though it gets hot, it doesn't get humid. Like I know where you're from, or the Midwest, it gets really humid, right? Yeah. So yeah, that's a big difference. So, too. so you don't like the humidity? You like the dry, hot weather? Yeah, the humidity. Oh my god, I hate it so much. Like when I was in Wisconsin, like right when you step outside, your body is like sticky, and like right when I touch, I'm just like, oh my god, I'm so sticky. Yes. I can't feel it. <laughs> Yeah, here you just sweat, but you don't get sticky like that. Yeah. yeah. You like? Oh. I'm um, oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, no, go ahead. Oh no, I just said. Oh, it's, but you like the humidity, right? I I find an either. I I find oh, okay. I find either. Yeah. What were you gonna say? I was gonna I was gonna say I think yeah I think I watch I'm pretty sure I what yeah I did watch your your video your I guess your introduction video and when you're telling your kind of background story as a wow she has literally almost the same background story as as me really yeah so wow you grew up in a like pretty tough neighborhood and then you made some made something yourself to get out and everything and yeah. you have like a bunch of siblings and your parents got divorced and all that kind of stuff like oh man sounds like my childhood the story of my life uh, really <laughs> yeah. well your parents are divorced too right or yeah, not. my parents are divorced too. I remember, yeah, I remember now. Yeah, we were chatting. I'm sorry. Yeah, dang. No, I guess it's what it is. Of, what's that? As it, it is what it is. You know, like with our, I guess like our parents' generation, they just marry young because yeah. um, it, that's what they were they were told to do at a young age. Just you know, might find a wife or find a husband and yeah. marry and start a family. I feel like maybe if they were still back in Thailand, they might have still been together. But coming to America, it's different, you know. Like you have yeah, so you, much. You see so life, much. yeah, a mm -hmm. little bit differently. So yeah. Yeah. So um, so are are you are you you, you are like um, I mean I know you're in here you're on the show because you are looking for something long term, right? And something more mm -hmm. serious. I just want to um. Just clarify, like I guess, let's talk about that a little bit more. Um, uh, like you're looking for something more serious. Like you know, do you see yourself settling down anytime soon if you do find the right one, or do you think you're the type where you're like, oh, not for like the next five or ten years or something? Oh no, no, def definitely not. I <laughs> last time I visit my 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 sister my brother they they saw i had a very bad case of like baby fever or something so <laughs> <laughs> I, said, no. yeah. I was like yeah. hey, like i just adore my nieces and nephews so much so uh -huh. they definitely know that i'm i'm looking for like long term commitment and something pretty serious yeah that's good that's good to know yeah so tell me about your how you're feeling about the whole show and everything so far so far of the show, I, I really like that everything is really nice and easy, kind of relaxed, laid back, and uh, it's my first time, so I, I don't really know what to say, but I, I think it's 
it's pretty easy. I mean, and then I like how they're really flexible with my schedule just because, you know, I was really stressed coming here. I was like, oh no, I need, I had to find my, you know, I had to get off the plane, go get a rental car and then check into my hotel and then get ready and, so, and oh everything. Oh my God, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Crazy. Oh, and I also wanted to talk about your introduction video. Oh, I loved it so much. <laughs> oh my God, I don't think everyone loved it. My sister even messaged me and said, oh my God, he loves anime. I like him already. I'm like, oh my God, uh, I love anime too. That one was, <laughs> I spent all night doing that, uh, doing that introduction video, and then right at the end when I submit it, yeah. I had to tell the producer I forgot to even introduce myself the whole oh. time. <laughs> so you had to redo it? No, no. She just told me that she would just put my name and where I'm from at, oh, okay. uh, in, the, in the captions. <laughs> Aww, okay. mm -hmm. No, I loved it so much. It was honestly, I mean, of course, everyone. I loved everyone's, but yours definitely like it stand out. Your humor, your yours was the only one that had like a lot of humor in it. So, yeah. and I, I didn't understand the um, I can't you can't see me or um, you know. So I know that that's John Cena, right? But yeah. can you explain to me <laughs> more? So it's I I feel like it's like a really it's like a, like a challenge, direct challenge to you. Maybe huh? you won't you know you won't understand, but I'm like you can't see me unless I get to the final final two, oh. and then you'll see me in person. <laughs> oh, I, get it. I yeah. love that. Oh, okay. So ten minutes is up already, so I do have to yeah. end the chat. Um, okay. But yeah, I'm looking forward to um, more days and more activities. So I'll yeah. see you again soon. All right, I'll see you some other time. All have a right, good night, John. <laughs> hey, Travis. Hey. How's your evening so far? Uh, it's good. Um, yeah, I've just been waiting, uh, hanging out, uh, waiting for the so Yeah. <laughs> I know, it took a while, huh? I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's all good. Did you have How fun you? tonight? Oh, yeah, it was okay. fun. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, it was good. Um, I think all those games were pretty interesting. Yeah, like I said, I didn't see like half of them, so I didn't see like half the things you wrote, so <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. What were you going to say earlier? I was going to ask you about your mask. Um, yeah, so how'd you, uh, how'd you get that? Like, how'd you pick oh, that? Um, honestly, there's no story behind it. I was just scrolling on Amazon and I'm like, you know, like a lot of these masks might look nice, right? But then when you wear it, it makes your face look funny because of the shape of it, it might be too small or too big. So I was like, gosh, I really want one that would like maybe go well with my um, face and then, um, I know I just look at some of the pictures of the reviews. I'm like, I think this one might be okay. And then I just thought it was pretty, first of all. And then I'm like, I think it'll look better than most of the other ones. So I just went with that one. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, so it wasn't like a big story behind it. I just mm -hmm. liked it. I guess. Okay. Cool. Yeah. But yeah, I, I like I said, I, I love your mask. Uh, Phantom of the Opera, I'm a big fan. And yeah. uh, after I watched that movie, I was singing that song for like months or weeks. Okay. <laughs> Really, really high, crazy, but good song. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think uh, I reckon, like I've heard the um, uh, like the music from it only, not like the song. So whatever oh, okay. that orchestra was, so yeah, it's a really good song. Um, it's been a while; I can't even remember what it's called. Okay. I think it's just the Phantom of the Opera. There was another one that was really good too. Mm -hmm. So I know you said uh, you were, you would pick like uh, one of the Lord of the Rings characters before. Are you a big into like uh, you know like that franchise and kind of like those kinds of things? Um, I wouldn't say I'm like really big into it, but I did love Lord of the Rings. Um, I mean, I never read any of the books like Harry Potter. If you're talking about those things, no, I actually never really watched Harry Potter. I don't know if that falls along the same line as Lord okay. of the Rings. But um, yeah, I, I'm a big fan of just the movie Lord of the Rings itself. And I was, yeah, in love with <laughs> Orlando Bloom in that movie. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Wow. Cool. Hey, so you've well, seen all of them, huh? Yeah, I have. Okay. How about you? Are you I a... haven't, uh-uh. Um, no, I never, <laughs> yeah, no, like, uh, um, yeah, so I've heard of them, I've seen them, but I guess I never got like, you know, actually sit down and like watch the whole thing, so. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I thought it was good. It was enjoyable. And, you know, Smeagol is an uh, interesting character. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Gollum, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Gollum, yeah. You remember Gollum, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
He's the uh, <laughs> evil guy. The my precious guy. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. From the meme. Yeah. So, um, what kind of movies or yeah, what kind of movies do you like then? Which is um, I prefer like just like the the ones that are easy to watch, like you know, like the Avengers and kind of some of those like you know mm-hmm. where it's just like you don't really have to. Uh, you know, you don't have to think too much. Uh, kind of sounds yeah. weird to say that, but uh, yeah, yeah, just enjoyable stuff. So, yeah, those are just like straightforward, and yeah, I know what you mean. Mm-hmm. I love those too. So, mm-hmm. you have a favorite Avengers character? Um, yeah, they they asked me that before. Um, I think I, I oh, Iron, Man. With Iron Man. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I like Iron Man a lot. <laughs> yeah, he's he's one character. I was so sad when he died at the end. I think I cried. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm low key attracted to, you know, there's so many of them. I I can't even remember his name. The one with the cloak. Thor. No, I mean obviously Thor is fine, but um, the other guy with the cloak, uh, the one that could reverse time. Mm. Doctor Strange. Yes, Doctor Strange. For some reason in that movie, I was just very attracted to him. Um, of course, Thor is a given. He is flawless. <laughs> I'm kidding. But yeah, Doctor Strange, for some reason, I was really attracted to him. But obviously, if I was going to be able to be any character, I would be Captain Marvel. Okay. He's like the strongest one out of everyone. I, you know, because she can actually go out of the planet and, right? She can go out of the yeah, planet. Mm-hmm. yeah, and all of that. Yeah, she, I, I think she, yeah, she did that in the um the last Avengers movie. I think. Yeah, she's fighting evil on other planets while everyone's fighting evil here. So, mm-hmm. <laughs> but anyway, did you um, yeah um, I wanted to talk about your introduction video as well. I thought it was yeah. you know straightforward, just like how you like your movies, and I I really enjoyed it and. I like how you mentioned me at the end. That that, that was really sweet. So mm-hmm. appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. It was um, it, it was interesting to make the video. I watched a bunch of um, you know, like the uh, yeah, the honest- yeah, yeah, yeah. You know the uh, the ones on TV that you'd see. So I'm um, watching. Uh-huh. I, yeah, I, I. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> I thought, like yeah, one. like yeah, yeah, like you know the ones like uh, on the American shows that kind yeah. of the same format, like. They did that. Yeah. I, I, yeah, like you were saying, you know, it's very, I just thought it'd be, uh, you know, just get out there, be straight, just forward, um, direct and kind of to the point. And yeah, you know. yeah, I like it. It's right mm-hmm. to the point. Yeah. Just is what everybody wants. I mean, yeah, it's right to the point. <laughs> mm-hmm. Sorry. Um, so I saw in your video, uh, you game. Uh, oh. What do you, what do you do? Or like, what do you game? What other? Um, so I am a big Call of Duty person. Um, I love shooter games. I love adventure games too and horror games. So, but Call of Duty is definitely the one I play the most. Um, okay. yeah, so, okay. yeah. Do you um, know what that is, right? <laughs> is that? You know what that is, right? Call of Call Duty? Du- yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, um, yeah, I, I play it. Uh, I haven't played the newest one. <gasps> you play it too? Mm-hmm. Way. Yeah, I uh, I haven't played. It's been a long time since like I've actually sat down and played a game. But um, mm-hmm. yeah, I, I yeah. So I have Call of Duty, and then um, I play uh, Grand Theft Auto more. Oh, I used to uh, play that. Yeah. One. Wait, yeah, I ha- I have that game too. I just I used to enjoy that game so much. I don't know what happened. I guess Call of Duty happened. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, I did not know you played games. A lawyer yeah. that plays. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. It's a, a good way to kill time. Kill time yeah. and kind of relax. And... Yeah. No, I love that. I'm glad you like playing games. Mm-hmm. We can definitely play games. <laughs> I got to get your, because uh, PlayStation probably? Yeah. Okay. I, I got to get your uh, PlayStation Network name. We can play together. Wait, what do you have? Uh, oh, oh, you? PlayStation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. Cool. Yeah. I, I wonder if that's allowed, though, <laughs> for now. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, what's uh, what's one thing in uh, Mirsa that uh, uh, you would uh, take, you know, someone on a date to? Merced, um, 
I would probably take someone on a date to maybe it just depends. I mean, if I want to be more like, um, it, it would either be downtown or the lake. The lake is, I think, a quite a romantic spot. Uh, and downtown, it's more like fun, right? Mm -hmm. That's it. We don't have much here in Merced. So those are the only okay. two. <laughs> really? Okay. Yeah. I mean, I don't like to do active things. So maybe go shoot pool, mm, go get ice cream downtown. They're all downtown. So just walk around. Okay. Maybe watch a movie or something. Okay. Yeah. What about you? If I, well, Where would you take a, a girl on a date in your town? Yeah, so um, I do the same thing. I go to the lake. Um, I think, yeah, so we have a lake, like a lakefront, the beach, and, uh, you know, like go to a lighthouse. Um, yeah. 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 And uh, go get ice cream. Um, there's, a, there's a few good ice cream places around here, like in the town I'm living in, uh, my hometown. Um, so, so, yeah, I do that. Yeah, go to the lake, get some ice cream, and then go for a walk and kind of see the water and talk. Are you just saying that because I said it? No, no, you you saw before. Um, I like I was referencing the lake a lot. Um, like oh, yeah. some of my questions, yeah. Mm -hmm. See, so, yeah, I I really do. I I really do love it. Uh, you know how we have the lake here, and yeah. um, you know we have the beach, and you know it's not like the ocean or anything, but um, it's still it's beautiful and it's a good yeah. place to relax and wind and take a day. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Um, I have been to a few lakes out there. I'm not sure if I've been to the one Sheboygan, but you know okay. how I said. The auntie and Sheboygan. Mm -hmm. So um we yeah, gone to a few lakes. I just don't know what they're called, but I wonder if it's the lake that you you usually go to. Maybe. Yeah, it's, it's pro probably like Michigan. Um that's like you know, just a big one um that you kind of like you see forever. So yeah. Probably. Okay, so we are at 10 minutes. Um yeah, I see. <laughs> hey. Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you? Um, good. Doing good. Did you have a fun night? It was, uh, it, it was fun. It was exciting. Um, you know, especially being the, the first group to go. Um, it was definitely nerve wracking uh, as always. So yeah. W what about you? Um, yeah, it was fun. Sorry, my hair is a mess right now. It was <laughs> fun. Yeah. Um, it was, it was definitely new. Um, but yeah, it was fun. Yeah. Yeah. What are your What are your thoughts? Was anything that um, stuck out to you, or any of the answers, or 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 anything? Um. Yeah. When you said um that um what people thought of you were, was that you were beautiful. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, no, yeah. That... <laughs> yeah. No. It, it, that, that was so funny. I was like. Oh, I, and, and I thought that um, question was geared towards you. So I was like, oh, um, beautiful. I, I think for you, it's beautiful, right? And then everything kind of just stopped. I'm like, wait, is that for <laughs> me? Is that for you? I was like, holy crap. So It's so funny. I'm not going to, I'm not, <laughs> never mind. I wanted to say something. I'm like, <laughs> one of the guys is like, dang, that was smooth. I don't know if like he did that on purpose or I'm kidding. Or if he like, um, if, that, or if he really thought, or if he really misunderstood that question. <laughs> Oh, I'm like no, you. I'm sure you misunderstood it. I know. Yeah, and I hope the guys are aren't thinking like, what the no, heck? no. I'm like, what did them. you just say? I think they're just joking, but um, yeah, yeah, it was cute. It was funny. Yeah, it was it was definitely fun, and um, I, I think you know, uh, again to know you more too, and also again to know the the guys as well too, um, because yeah. this is actually our first time kind of talking and, and, and being each other as well, too. So I'm kind of like, hey, these guys are actually really nice and easy going as well, too. So. Yeah, I think everyone's really cool and really nice. So I'm glad. Yeah. So anything, <laughs> anything else? <laughs> anything else that stood out to you? Um, yeah, so Emma Watson, I was wondering, uh, what do you like about Emma Watson? <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, I, I, the funny thing is, I, I don't think I've, I've seen any of her videos. On, I'm sorry, her movies. Mm -hmm. So, and I'm not a big movie person, anyways. Um, but I, I think one thing that strikes me the most is her, her accent. Like, I, I love that, that oh, English cool. accent. Yeah. 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 Oh, I don't even know what kind of accent that is. Um, what, what do you know what it is? 
Uh, it's like an English uh, British accent. Oh, British. British. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So I think that's like the number one thing that that stood out the most. I mean, besides her being, I, I think for her, I think for her looks, right? Looks can looks will always be there for anybody. That that's always like the number one thing you see. But I don't for for me, it, it wasn't about so much about her looks. It was more mm -hmm. about her um, the way she carries herself. I think the way yeah. she carries herself, and um, she's very uh, educated as well. She's mm -hmm. very educated. So I, I think those things brings out for me personally brings out like, the best of of anybody yeah. that could be a man or a woman yeah so no that's true yeah yeah um all right there was just so much going on tonight that it was kind of like hard to remember every single question or answer but mm -hmm. you know you know we didn't like <laughs> there was like maybe a hundred all together <laughs> oh yeah yeah that's true answers from every single person yeah what about you um, I, I think for you, uh, I think, oh, I mean, two things stood out. Um, I, I would say the, the, I think the first thing is that the gimbal, the, the camera gimbal, the stabilizer. Uh -huh. Yeah. Cause when I saw that, I was like, Hey, I've got one of those. I mean, I've got a cheaper version. I'm sure uh -huh. yours is like pretty expensive. So when I saw that, I was like, Hey, and the thing is too, is, um, I, I'm not a big, like, um, taking videos and, uh, well, I'm not big in like, uh, the, the edits, the edits of the videos and pictures. But then I love to take videos, I love to take pictures, but then like I suck at like all the edits and putting them all together and everything. Yeah, so. I think I suck at like Photoshop. That's something I I need to just get better on. But um, yeah, I, I enjoy doing like putting the, all the videos together. Did, yeah. Who um who did your um introduction video? Oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> so I, I had to buy a whole new gimbal, right? I had to buy the stabilizer. Mm -hmm. And the reason I did that is because um, so I, I'm far away from like all, all my brothers. So I didn't have anybody. So the only person I had was my 50 year old uh, nephew. Oh my God. So, so, I, so I was like, hey, um, I need you to do this. I need you to, no, no, come back this way. No, shoot it this way or shoot it up this way. I was like, oh, this is, like, is going to be a long day. Oh my so. God, it's so hard shooting, right? It's so much more hard, harder than you expect. Even like when I was shooting my videos and the teaser, oh my God, it was so much work. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, I bet. I mean, it, it came out really nice. I'm like, wow, like whoever did all the editing and, and everything, you know, they, they did a really good job. Yeah, he did. I've actually known him since high school, so <clears throat> different <throat> friends too, so yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I think that's one of the things. Um, um, I think another thing too was I think one of the questions was where would you want to retire? I think that was one of the questions, and, and I think you put down California, I believe. Yeah, I think, I think yeah. Where would you want to see? Yeah, where would you want to end up? Right? Like yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I did put California because right now that's that's where I see myself. I mean, mm -hmm. like if I were to fall in love with somebody, and you know, then that's probably something to talk about on a different day. Yeah. I. I I would be willing to relocate if I really love this guy and I want to be with him, right? And um, but as of right now, you know, I'm not in love with anyone yet. Yeah. I'm not willing to make that commitment or anything. So all I see is California. Was that your question? If yeah, yeah, no, yeah, that that was just one of the things that kind of stood out um, first. I mean, that being you know one of the very first questions that we had too. So it, it kind of um, yeah, kind of just stood out in that way, I guess. Yeah, so. and yours was. Mine was I. It, it was more broad. It was just like a lighthouse. I just put a lighthouse on there. Lighthouse, oh, yeah. Like with um, the so you want to be by the ocean then? It it could be ocean, um, it, it could be the lakes, um, it could be like a, a small lake. Uh, it, okay. it, it depends. Um, but yeah, I think that's where I, I kind of see myself as. But you know, yeah. I mean, who knows? So I think that's nice. Like. When I said I definitely, I definitely want to like be somewhere where it's like peaceful, like yeah. compared to like a crazy city life. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I, um, I wouldn't say I grew up in a big city, but I grew up in a city where I kind of get tired of that, and so I want to move away from that. Um, yeah. So I mean, there, there's goods and bads about living in the city and living in the country or living, you know, in the lake house or whatever that may be. So. Yeah. yeah. So, what's your take on this journey so far? Um, I, I think I, I would say exciting, um, and and I'm sure it is for for a lot of the guys because this is and for you because this is something that's that's new to all of us. 
Mm -hmm. um, you know, we see shows about it all the time. And so now that when you're kind of part of the show now, it's kind of like, okay, what, what is there to expect, you know, or uh, what's what's next now, or how is this going to end, or how is this going to begin? So I think that's the, the exciting part of it. So yeah. Yeah, what about so, you? Uh, I, yeah, it, it's a new experience, but um, it's, like, I, I guess at first, like, you know, I mean, I'm optimistic, but at the same time, I'm like, is it really going to work? Am I really going to gain feelings for these guys over the internet? You know, I don't know. Yeah. Um, you know, because for me, I'm a physical person and I like to feel the connection in person, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, I, I'm after meeting all the men, I am hopeful. I am I do see a lot of potential. So, yeah, I, I'm. I'm looking forward to well, the outcome for sure and the experience in itself. Yeah, I, I think kind of like with me too, I think that's a, it's a challenging thing because one of my love languages uh, um, with the top ones is physical as well too, physical mm -hmm. touch. So I'm kind of like, I don't know how this is gonna work out, um, but you know, let's go go through with it and, and see if it works out. And, and if it does, that's great. Um, if it doesn't, um, I, I think it, the, the journey itself is a blessing already, um, yeah. so. So you said one of your yours is physical touch. What is the other one, or the main? Uh, one? Yeah, so the top one would be physical touch, and then I think the oh. next one is uh, spending time. I think or or quality time. I'm sorry. Quality time. Yeah. yeah, I think quality time is definitely one of my tops too. But I think it would be physical touch. Um, so I did want to ask you. Um, I mean, what do you uh, think of me so far? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, yeah. um I, I would say you're very uh you're very cheerful um I, I think um you're very cheerful and you're always smiling so i think for me um i think that's something that i look for in, in a girl i mean that i look for someone who's always it, it doesn't seem like they're they're someone who's smiling and someone who's joyful always seems like they're always having a good day mm -hmm. um and, and i think I, I like that positive energy so when i'm with that person well, when, I'm, when, I, when I'm not having a good day, then she can brighten up my day. Um, yeah. So it, it seems like she's always happy. She's got no worries. And um, she's always looking at where the half is uh, full, the, the, half, the cup is full, not like the cup is half empty. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, I think that's like one of the biggest things. Um, and, and I think you just being honest, I think you being honest, you being the first one on the show, it, it takes a lot of courage. It takes a lot of courage and it takes a lot, you know, I'm just gonna put myself out there um and see where this goes so i think for a lot of women that, that that's hard to do you know that's just my opinion but you know i think those two things that uh, kind of strikes me the most you know yeah um and one last thing what is one of the biggest traits uh, that you look for in a woman um i would say intelligence um i think i would pick that over i would even pick that over looks um i think yeah. that would triumph looks um, cause you can have, you cannot have looks, but be intelligent versus someone who's got looks and not being intelligent. I would, I would choose that person who's intelligent over looks any yeah. day. Um, and, and I think that that explains more who the person really is. Um, yeah. I think looks can be very deceiving. Um, oh, it, can be, yeah. it, it can be deceiving. It can be mis, uh, misleading sometimes. So that that's, yeah. I, that's probably the number one trait that I, I would look in, in a woman. Yeah. And yeah, just. Speaking of that, that is something I want to clarify because when I was on live, that was one of the questions, right? Would you choose looks over intelligence or intelligence over looks? When I was asked that question, um, I thought it was referring to me, not my partner, right? Mm -hmm. um, but I mean, like I said, I could go both ways, but in a partner, I think I would definitely choose intelligence, right? Because I mean, look, looks only go so far when yeah. you first meet somebody, oh, they're good looking, but there's no connection or more intelligence behind that. And you're, they're just like a turn off, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I look yeah, at me, yeah. it's like, oh, never mind. <laughs> but um, when you actually get to know one and see uh, someone that, um, you know, can be on, you know, can just like connect with you. And I, I think that's our intelligence in itself too. But um. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Sorry, ten minutes. I do yeah. have to end. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know. Okay. Um, yeah, it goes by really fast. <laughs> no, no, it does. No. Yeah. So I guess I'll see you again during the next group date. Um, yep. and um, or next solo date. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> okay. All right. Have a good night. All right. Good night.